Good day folks, welcome to the MB Wild Man channel. On today's video, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about why I gang set in certain locations, especially with my dog proofs. Now, I run a lot of pale sets and it's, uh, it's I don't know, like not quite the middle of December here. Uh, we've got a little bit of a warm spell that's just gone through. So, um, what I've done is I'm running about 36 pails right now and this morning when I checked the pail sets, I had two different raccoons uh, caught in pails, but the pail was swung around and the, and the bait was completely empty from the pail. So you know full well that what's happened is raccoons have come along and one has stuck their head in the pail, getting caught, getting out of the way, and the other raccoons are like, oh, sucks to be you, but they're going to eat the bait out of the pail. So what I do for pail sets, I don't really worry about it because Pretty much if you put a pail set in the area, then you might get, you know, you're going to get them again and again. But there's a lot of times when I want to put out um, dog proofs and I want to put them in areas and I just want to hit and be gone, right? So there's what I typically do if I'm on a stream or if I'm on the edge of a field or something is I'll put, you know, one within even, even five or 10 feet of each other, just long enough so that if there's a raccoon in one, they can't sort of reach the other one and do any damage to each other in the struggle. Um, anyway, it's real important that when you use when you do your 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 dog proofs um i'm not saying that you have to do this and i know that there's a limited number of traps that everybody's got on the trap line and it wouldn't it be great if we all had every trap that we needed every time we went to the trap shed and just said oh i need about 10 dog proofs and whoop there they were right um with the price of fur this year i will need to catch about 762 raccoons uh to pay for a dozen uh dog proofs or something to that effect but anyway uh not in it for the money clearly so uh, I just want to walk you into a place here. This is actually my spring bear bait and <clears throat> I ran it in the fall uh, as well. Didn't find any bears here that I wanted to shoot. So I, uh, I, didn't, I didn't hunt it, but in the fall I had the camera on it and every night there was two and three raccoons, two and three raccoons coming in. So um, once, the, once the bait went dead and I let it sit for a while, I brought in a couple of dog proofs and I'll, I just want to show you how I set them up and then uh, and show you the results. So here I am, there's my, there's my tree stand back there, my, uh, my tripod stand, the modified one, and there's my bear bait down this way. And I can already tell you that this is gonna be a good example, <laughs> a good example of why we gang set, right? So here you go, there's the barrel, right? There's a bag with some old apple stuff in it. So there's first raccoon, nice big one right there, right? Obviously super unhappy to be here, right? But there's, uh, there's one. And so obviously tethered to this tree right here was one dog proof. And then right here, and da -da -da -da, just pan that way. There's another nice big raccoon right there, okay? So these, if you can, I'll back this up a little bit. You can see how far apart they are, right? So they, they wouldn't be 10 yards, not even. I mean, they wouldn't be five or six yards maybe um, apart between these two locations. And here I am after only two nights of the dog proofs out and I got a real nice double on the raccoons. So this is typically what i will do uh, i am about 20 feet off the off this corner of the field and i'm about the same distance off this corner of the field it's starting to grow up a little bit back here and i'm just in the back corner uh right right back there is just the corner of the field uh, a little bit of swamp out back and, and all of that but just a real nice raccoon location and this way with my double i'll only need to be in here just a couple of times to check these and i mean i got two today and i'll reset these up and i'll probably have one or two tomorrow and then that'll probably be it for for the raccoons for back here but uh anyway listen i hope this is something that can help you out and uh just as a just as a tip for you beginners out there if you've got the steel and you're able to if you've got the traps setting doubles uh multiple sets in the same location will oftentimes bring you uh results just like this so anyway look thanks for watching and uh, until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.